All right, welcome to lab four of essentially serverless uh, framework with um, Python and AWS, right? This lab, we are gonna learn how to set up a, a cron job that will fire up a Lambda on a cron expression using a serverless framework. Again, the idea is to, let's say, given on a cron expression, we wanna do certain business action, right? So we're gonna see how we can do that using the serverless framework. Oops, that's a white screen and let's get started. So you can come to lab three. Uh, this is the lab three, right? Um, so uh, when you come on the lab three, what you wanna do is first of all, um, you know, when you come on lab three, you need following files. Um, so you need a serverless.yaml file. Um, and as I said, right, serverless essentially generates all these for you, right? I'll show you in a second how to do that, but all the files should be there in the lab three. Let me just walk you over that, okay, first of all. Uh, handler.py, simple Python Lambda that essentially says your cron function name and the time, right? Nothing crazy here, right? Very, very easy. Then we have a serverless.yaml file. Um, again, very easy, nothing crazy. We are defining a run runtime as 3.8, you know? I'm saying that I have a Python function and I'm saying I have a cron handler and that's gonna run handler.run. That means it's gonna go to the handler, it's gonna go to the run function. I'm gonna say event, that means schedule, and then I'm providing a cron expression on where, when I wanna run this um, Lambda. Now, just with that, just defining that, and I uh, see the beautiful magic. If I go to terminal, now uh, open in terminal. Again, if you wanna attach layers and, and add all the um, fancy stuff to the function, you could do that. Watch my tutorial, lab two and lab one, that covers that. Um, so yeah, it's actually very easy, man. Um, so. Now, all I can say is uh, SLS deploy. And for some reason, if it doesn't work, make sure you give the required access. So if you come to my readme file, you know, uh, there is a steps on how to install that. All the tutorials are there. So make sure, um, you know, you configure your credential, your access key and your secret key, right? So that's very important. XXX, you know, replace their, your keys, right? And then just create a simple project, right? And then uh, dump these files inside that. So you'll say serverless create template Python, you know, you'll, you'll do that. And then you will copy paste the handler.py and the YAML file, which I'm about to, you know, show you. So, uh, you know, handler, very easy, man. Nothing crazy here. Again, very easy, just running the Lambda function on a cron job. Now, as I said, right, the frameworks uh, is taking care of all the hassle for us. So now I can easily say, let me clear my screen, SLS deploy, that's it. Now, um, what this will do is this will create a Lambda function. This is essentially gonna create a rule on event bridge. It's gonna set those up, hook, hook those up together and all that with, I mean, cloud formation, all that is taken care by the framework, right? So let, let's take a look. So I'm gonna wait, uh, might take a couple of minutes and then uh, we'll go to the AWS console and I'll, I'll show you that, okay? Yeah, I, I, I really, really loved it, this framework. <laughs> It, it takes care of all your hassle and, and, and it's very easy to use. It's not that difficult. It, you just gotta read some documentation here and there and then that's pretty much it, right? You can easily figure it out, right? It's all I'm trying to say. Uh, yeah, so now it's creating a cloud formation script for us and it's now updating. Now, if I go to my console, remember I don't have a, a, a Lambda here or an event bridge. So now if I simply refresh, I should uh, still not there because it's still updating the, the stack. So we'll wait for a couple of minutes and then uh, let's see if we see the event bridge and the Lambda. You see how easily you can just define, okay, what do you want AWS? Okay, you wanna run a Python Lambda function on what, on, on an event, essentially on a cron. Easy, right? You defined a simple YAML file and, and the framework takes care of most of the heavy lifting for you, right? So uh, I, I loved it, as I said, right? I've been, I've been playing a lot uh, lately with this one, uh, but uh, yeah. Let, let, let's wait. So if you go to the cloud formation, actually, uh, since it's um, doing, I can actually show you, uh, not cloud nine. Okay, uh, is it still, yeah, it's still um, running the cloud formation script. So uh, here you should see those 
cloud formation script you know uh, uh, being worked on right so uh, it, it takes care of that we don't have to worry about anything right so uh, yeah let's wait oh i i think uh, it just added the cron expression now you can see we have a cron that's enabled so that's the name right and now excuse me um if you see that's your cron expression and that's going to fire up a lambda so the target is a lambda function right i can go and i can check the lambda function so you see you can just focus on writing application code and then just say sls deploy and voila things gets deployed right for you so this is going to trigger your lambda function you know you have a readme file package json everything very neatly done um by the framework right so essentially that's that uh, it's still working though uh, it's updating the stack now um and then you know uh, yeah i mean you just write your application logic uh, if you want to create layers you can add pyodbc pandas uh, set up events right so that's that now i can just say sls remove this will remove the entire stack from uh, the so it's going to remove the lambda it's going to uh, remove the cloud formation and it's going to remove the event bridge it does everything in a very uh, clean fashion right so um, so 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 uh, it might take a while i don't want to you know uh, keep you guys on the video but hopefully you got the idea right so this would be a lab 3 and you can find the source code here if you want to tweak and play with it uh, please feel free to uh, you know just try by yourself and see if it actually works right that's the best way to learn right uh, as i said right i myself you know when when i learn something new i try it out myself it takes time i know that but that's the best way to learn it to do it yourself With that being said guys keep smiling keep programming and keep learning new things and I'll uh, I'll essentially uh, see you in the next upcoming video